I never thought I would find a correlation with blood and abductees. 69% of all of our abductees are Rh negative. Rh negative people's personalities are different than Rh positive personalities. It's not necessarily that one's better or worse than the other, they're just different. Their psychic abilities tend to stand out more. They tend to be more go-getters. They tend to want to be more involved with things on the planet. No one knows where Rh negative came from. It appeared 35 or 45,000 years ago out of the blue, and for no reason. As far as I know, Mother Nature didn't need it. It's not us doing this, it's something else. When I talk to scientists about this or somebody in the hematological world, I ask them, I said, okay, O negative is only 7% of the world's population. I said, what is it? And they can't answer me. He said, all we can tell you is it's the purest form of blood known in man and is the universal donor. They don't like hearing the UFO or the, well, the alien word, but even they can't deny it could be a possibility. I don't know if they're ignoring it or just not saying anything to us about it. And the other weird thing about this is 40,000 years ago, it was 1% RH negative. Today, I think it's up to about 18%. It's growing. We lived in a brown hair, brown eyed, brown skinned planet for 2 million years. And then all of a sudden, this emerges on the scene. We start having these mutations. There was a lot of societies down there that would seem to worship aliens. And now we find out that there's a huge segment of the population that was up. And no one can explain it. After two million years of evolution with RH positive and brown eyes and brown hair, we changed. We've come to the conclusion that somebody's definitely interfering in our society. They do seem to interfere with our population. The three major races that visit here are the three blood types we carry today. The grays are the ones that instituted the RH negative, probably brought O and O negative to us. The human aliens from every description I've got from anybody who's been abducted look somewhat like us, but their heads are deeper than ours are. They're taller than us, they're heavier than us, they have six fingers, six toes. They look a lot like us, but they don't even breathe the atmosphere because originally in the original Sumerian stories, they said they built two great white dome cities because they couldn't live in our atmosphere of our planet. That race created a subspecies of their cells, which created the subspecies of us. The Sumerian stories talk about the seven creations of man with the subspecies of us being the last creation. They would procreate. It became the aggressive race that's here today, us. Technically, we have all three of the alien races' blood in us, so eventually one day in 100 million years, we're going to surpass them. Do you want the species that's here today in deep space more advanced than the three most advanced races in the galaxy? No, that's not what they want. They want us to be an equal race, but not a race that's going to go out and conquer and destroy. The greys and the reptilians and humans are, uh-oh, we may have made a mistake here. And ever since then, they've been trying to correct it. For the most part, we really do think that it is to move us forward as a society. Everybody I know with RH positive thinks, well, are we being left behind? I said, no, you're being bred out. There's a difference. And what I mean by that is, you're not being left behind. Eventually, we're just going to breed ourselves out of a different type of species. More telepathy, probably more honest. Green and blue eyes and RH negative is a mutation. It's not a naturally occurring thing in our body. Other than alien contact, no one can give me an explanation for where this came from or why it's here or why it's pushing so hard through our DNA in our life. It seems to be moving faster than it should be.